Hello, Mukul. Hello, Paul. Hey, for the last 16 or 17 months, maybe. Time flies. Uh, we've chatted every Friday at 8 a.m. my time, some barbaric time for your time. What have we been chatting about? Yeah, we used to talk about what's next coming up every time in the Paishum Guide. And yeah. it's all about tech and what's new. What are the new things coming up? What's going in the Python world yeah. and everything. And so really you and I have kind of been collaborating on uh, producing some of these astonishing tutorials of yours. Your tutorials are video explainer plus narrative text plus working code. Is that the right formula? Yeah, exactly. And then it all I like do that. is I show up and read the transcript you've prepared for me and everybody thinks that I did it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Even people still now think that it's not me. That's right. This is the real voice of Mukul, everybody. Um, yeah. I, I, it's really almost nothing for me. And you've been doing an astonishing amount of work. Let's look at this is your first tutorial, right? Uh, the first one we did together. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. By the way, everybody, as we go through this, you'll see that the production quality has gone up dramatically because Mukul has mastered all kinds of Adobe tools and <laughs> special effects and things like that. <laughs> uh, so this was the first yeah. one, and this was um, serverless, right? Yeah, exactly. Can, can you scroll down a little bit and show all the chapters you did on this? Yeah, exactly. So... We, I think we were completely working on something called AWS Toolkit, which mm -hmm. AWS has created a plugin for JetBrains actually. So basically for the IntelliJ idea. And later I came to know that there is a plugin we can use with PyCharm also. Mm -hmm. also. So, mm -hmm. so I came up with a tutorial that I can deploy the entire serverless app through PyCharm itself. So this is the tutorial which covers everything. So whether uh, it's a basic kind of REST API, we'll be uh, creating REST API, we'll be invoking the function locally and everything will be doing from PyCharm. So we don't need to go, we don't need a special editor or anything. We can simply create the application in PyCharm and directly deploy our serverless application. So yeah. everything over here. Yeah, I was at reInvent a couple of months ago and showing off what can be done in the IntelliJ IDEs. And really it's written by the AWS team and some of it's pretty amazing. Two things jump out of me remembering us talking about this. First of all, scroll down just a little bit. Yeah. Testing. I was really, yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a testing guy. And so I was really happy that you kind of featured testing on this. Uh, but then go yeah, back, exactly. go back up. The, uh, <laughs> you can see, uh let's see go to the atlas one this is kind of this is kind of how i think this is how you talk yourself into putting in hundreds of hours of work you're like i want to put atlas in because yeah. i'm curious <laughs> <laughs> exactly so i think this was one of the things what uh i think calvin mentioned in the tutorial sure, that yeah. using 0.0.0 .0 and exposing to the outside network <laughs> yeah. calvin uh, yeah. hendrix parker gave a webinar reviewing mukul's tutorial and he he gave you a little bit of a negative on one point what was it uh it was actually uh, Thinking about the network security, you mm -hmm. should be running in the private mode, not exposing everything. It's just like running CH mode 777. Seven, seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, show <laughs> the second tutorial you did real quick. Yeah, uh, this was the second tutorial and this was completely, completely different compared to the first one. So it looks like it was only running a basic Django application, but it was not only Django application. We were doing everything in AWS itself. So there was no local machine. It was done using nice DCV. So it's a kind of a streaming protocol provided by AWS. And you can run your application in AWS using nice DCV, which supports high intensive, high intensive graphic workloads and support up to 4K monitor supports are there. So a lot of things are there. And so PyCharm was, was running yeah. in the cloud on Linux, I think you used, right? Yeah, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu it was yeah. running. Yeah. 
So everything was set up over there, database, Docker, everything. It felt like I was working on a local machine. Yeah. And I think you discovered that uses the GPU and that means yeah. you get charged a little bit for it, right? Yeah, it's quite pricey. Yeah. I would say that never experiment. And if you experiment, make sure you have some enough credits. Sure. And so yeah. this one was fun because it was RDS with Postgres. Is that right? Yeah. And this I was think RDS you hooked up Postgres. the database tool in PyCharm to browse the tables. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The database tools and checking all the Postgres tables over there directly. And everything were hosted in the private network taking the advice from Calvin. <laughs> so everything was, so that was one of the things uh, which got into, and it also had sentry monitoring as well. And same as usual, unit test. Also, I, I integrated behavior driven. Another example of a, hey, I'm interested in this. I'll just put it in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, if you're looking at this, you're probably thinking, damn, that's a lot of work. Yeah. The second thing you may be thinking is I told you that uh, I told all of you that we meet on Friday, but this isn't Friday. We're recording this actually on a Saturday. And there's a reason for this because it's going to happen on Tuesday that you're releasing a new tutorial. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. In this tutorial, you put a lot of work into this tutorial. How long have you been working on this? I think it's 10 months, you can say. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do the big reveal. Go to that tab and show the uh, yeah. staging server version of this. The, actually, this is running locally. So okay. what are you covering in this one? So this is the, uh, you can say that twice of the previous two tutorials. And in this, we are going to use all the Titans over here, like the fast API, Kubernetes, AWS, Helm charts, everything. So Pydantic, yeah, right? yeah, Pydantic. It's all about Pydantic and Fast API. Yeah. Okay, best of both worlds. Yeah, and yeah. it's uh, almost six hours of video, right? Yeah, exactly. Not only that, but you upped your game on your video production, didn't you? Yes, yes, exactly. And uh, uh, compared to my previous two tutorials, you'll feel like just like the video is starting up some voice, and that's it. But this time I have used some animations. I hey, learned why something. The, uh, why don't you click on introduction yeah. and show the video? Yeah, sure. Uh, this is the beginning. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I think I will <laughs> just pause it over here and I will just maintain the secrecy over here. And I would <laughs> love the audience to go and check. Very good. <laughs> A sneak peek, but not too much of a peek. Real quick. Not too much. Not too yeah. much. Hey, this tutorial, who was it for? Who was it not for? Okay. So this is for someone who, who has knowledge about fast ABI, who has some knowledge about Kubernetes, and they have a mindset that I need to deploy, deploy my all the stack in AWS, having the SSL, having the load balancer, having all the end-to-end -end setup. Mm -hmm. A to Z. So it's for people for them. But it's you can say it will be in between beginner to intermediate. Those people who are looking to deploy their application in cloud using Kubernetes mm -hmm. and knowing everything from beginning to the end, how to build the application, how to run, how to write unit tests, how to deploy, how to implement the pipeline and everything. I think this will be great enough that anyone can jumpstart their application and they can take it forward to anywhere. And there's a good bit of pie charm that you're putting to work in this. For example, this one introduces the Kubernetes plugin, right? Yes, yes, exactly. There is one plugin out there, uh, Kubernetes plugin. And one best thing about it is that I don't need to write anything from the terminal. I can do everything from the plugin itself. Yeah. Whether it is on premise or in cloud, yeah. I can smoothly integrate and I can deploy all the parts, deployments, resources, etc. everything. How about a little demo of some code? Do you have a section of the tutorial that you think would be good to jump into and then show that section and then um, go over to PyCharm? 
uh yeah i think i can show i can show the kubernetes deployment mm -hmm. and uh, already i have a local copy of the code so i can mm -hmm. deploy in my local machine uh using docker desktop and i will show how it looks okay here we are in pycharm we're going to take a look at that step of the tutorial you're going to show us kubernetes right yeah exactly so this is the kubernetes manifest files for a for the entire application i have set up over here and uh, i have segregated into different folders so uh, this is the namespace which you'll be going to create first. It's just like uh, uh, creating, isolating your uh, Kubernetes resources. So let's jump in quickly and let me start creating the uh, Kubernetes resources. So first I'm going to create the namespace. And uh, next I will deploy code. And after that, Postgres. Redis, Celery. I see a and pattern there here. There is one, yeah. And uh, there is one more file called job, which is going to run the migration. So let me see what's the status right now. Uh, okay. So you if can you see how, the... why he's able to type, type this so fast. He's been doing this for 10 months. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Everything comes with time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're running some stuff, right? Yeah. Um, right now, you can see our uh, deployment is running, and I think I need to run Nginx also, uh, which will be proxying our request to the backend. And uh, we need to run the migration. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, the status. So, right now, fast API migration is initializing and you can see it has been completed one good part is that after 100 seconds uh, this job will be terminated doesn't matter whether it has been completed or it got failed so it's a kind of a batch thing so you just run a job and that's exit out from there all right good so as you can see everything is running now our migration is complete pods are running now i'm going to quickly show you in the browser all right and here it is all right. Finally, if anybody the out fast there API. uses fast API, they've seen this, right? <laughs> the, exactly. This is the open API swagger page, I believe. Yeah. And so yeah. you can see everything that's in your API, which is a good point to mention. This, these tutorials you do, they're not hello world. You're actually having them write what? A full e-commerce application from end to end creating products, moving to the cart, placing the order. It's completely, all the APIs have been designed for that. Uh, and all of the developer experience stuff along the way, like testing, right? Yeah, exactly. All Everything right. is there. This is, uh, when is this coming out? This is coming on Tuesday, coming Tuesday, 1st of February. It was, we're, we're really happy about getting this out. We'll make all the announcements. We just wanted to give everybody a little sneak peek behind the scenes. Just kind of in closing, this has been a lot of fun working together on this, on this third tutorial after all the other ones. And I just think it's time for you to take a break, but you're probably not going to, right? <laughs> I think I have already started planning what's going to come next. <laughs> So if anybody has any suggestions about the way Mukul does his tutorials, about what other things he could cover related to AWS, or how he and I talk, if you want to see some more of these, because our conversations on Friday are really funny, we've become friends and we learn each other's jokes like neck down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so maybe next time we'll explain what neck down means. Mukul, thanks for working on this. Thanks for, well, Friday or Saturday morning, Saturday evening for you. Uh, look forward to all of you getting a chance to see this 10 months of effort from Mukul.